Alright guys, uh, I'm back with another video. I want to do um, just a video on this with the site options that I, that I have. Um, so, I know last video I didn't have them out. Got them out, do another one to show you, show you what it looks like. Um, I also uh, upgraded my lighting a little bit, so I want to see how it compares with the other one and then maybe give you a better look at some of the other stuff. So, like I said in the first video, uh, what I first was running was the EOTech EXPS2 uh, was running this at first and it's great um, it's just a little big um, I mean either one here's the MRO is what I what I like to run right now either one I mean you can't go wrong um, I got the ADM quick mat quick detach uh, mount on there I mean either one you can't go wrong but you can definitely see um, the EOTech is just is just bigger. So let me show you what it looks like on there. It sits fine here, um, but when you get up here to where the quick detach uh, lock button is, that's where it hits the front arm there. So um, with this setup, you can run it right there. I mean, that's basically the whole rail. Um, basically the whole rail, you can't really get any more uh, forward of the rifle than that. But, I mean, that's really where you're going to want it anyway. Um, well, as you can see, I mean, it looks good. It works well. Uh, it's just a little big. That's all. Um, so, let me show you how it, turn it on, show you how it does its thing here. This is a sight picture. I mean, it's nice. I think a co-witness is all right. I had it sighted in, sighted in just at 25 yards for plinking. I could always sight it in at 50 just to give myself a little versatility for the 100 yards and 25 and um, be accurate that way. So there it is like that. Very uh, subtle, I think. EOTech is still a great optic. It's just, it's just blam. It's like right in your face. Um, but with this, I mean, I think it's the perfect size. Uh, I can't go wrong either way. But let's turn this one on. Show you what that looks like. I'll show you. I talked about in the first video how well I thought it co-witnessed. I mean, it's right over the front sight. It's perfect. So, uh, like I was saying in the other video, uh, came with the the one third co-witness, and I mean, it sat, you know, it's by itself probably that high was the mount, the optical on top of that. I mean, you can imagine with this trying to get a, a nice cheek weld on this. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't. I mean, it was maybe like the bottom of my jawbone um, to really get a good, um, but I mean, 22, not a lot of recoil, but um, it still was a little high, so I'm glad I went with the low mount. I actually thought the low mount would be a little too low. I thought maybe it, it would be, uh, the front sight would, be, would interfere. The rail, you can see, I mean, this thing, I mean, it's got really good quality. I mean, it's metal. It's solid. Um, the company, I believe, I posted it in the other video, but it's Hot Import Toys. Like I said, it was an airsoft uh, kind of company. Um, but this thing is solid, man. It's metal. Costs like nine bucks. Plus shipping, it might have been twelve. I mean, so I'd rather pay twelve bucks and have a awesome quality uh, rail then pay like a hundred for just like another inch I mean yeah the name brand is different but I mean a rail is a rail I mean if it's gonna stay on and it's gonna be solid I mean what's the difference right those are the sight options um, if you got a little bit extra money to spend I found both of these for a great deal um, I got found this at a gun show brand new 
EXPS2, I think I got uh, cash out the door, 400 and 430 maybe, 450, I can't remember, something like that, low fours though, mid low fours, this, uh, same way, um, I think I paid 450, 450 cash, and it came with the, uh, the one third mount, uh, then I bought this, I actually had an issue with this guy, uh, I didn't even get to use it, I had to send it back out to him, because when I got it home and was uh, function testing, on setting 6, uh, the reticle would, would just blink. It's really rapid blinks. Uh, and it was the last one that they had, so it was open box item. Maybe it was messed up. And they knew it, saw me coming a mile away, I don't know. But um, I set it, sent it back to Trijicon, um And for whatever was wrong with it, they didn't say specifically. But uh, they sent me a brand new one. So... Um, it worked out. I don't know if I know everybody's been having problems with uh, talking about the the, but the battery connectors and all that. Um, I don't know if this is like an upgraded model from that. They were fixing it. I don't know. I don't plan on beating on this thing. Uh, I'm just like a recreational shooter, so I'm not taking it into battle or anything like that. But it, I mean, quality should be quality. It's Trijicon, same thing with EOTech. EOTech never had a problem with this guy either. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, Hope you liked the video. Hope it was a little informative again. Um, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I forgot to mention about the uh, 416 pistol barrel. Uh, you have to order it from Umarex uh, themselves. I did mention that in the first one, but it's not listed anywhere online on their website. You actually have to call them, talk to their parts department, and order it from them over the phone um, and pay for it like that. I, I want to say it was about 115 bucks, give or take, maybe 120 for the just the pistol barrel. They have both um, the full size rifle barrel and the pistol barrel. Make sure you specify. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, you can catch me on Instagram, Steve MP5. Uh, I'm usually posting some stuff on there. So uh, thanks, guys. See you next time.